Hey the world, how are you doing? This is Justin here. I'm uh, pulled over south of Scotia, California. This is the northern entrance to Avenue of the Giants where I'm standing. Anywho, that's Highway 101 down yonder over there. There's a tree on this hillside I'm going to try to focus on. I'm super far away so you won't get a good view. But way over there towards the top of that ridge see that one tree that stands out above everybody else maybe can you tell can you see it i'll put down in the comments the picture of this tree that i'm pretty confident is that one on the ridge there anyway if the biggest redwoods actually stood out like a sore thumb like that, we would have a lot more understanding and knowledge of this place. That tree we're looking at, that hill, is absolutely not the world's tallest tree, but you see it on the interwebs all the time being claimed to be the world's tallest tree because, again, it stands out like a sore thumb around the forest all around it. Well, how come, Justin, it stands out like that? It does look way bigger than all those other trees in the forest. Well, you better believe it. The reasons it is way bigger than the rest of the trees all around it, though, are not exciting reasons. It's because all those trees around her were harvested. So you can see their more uniform size and growth, indicating again that that forest was harvested around a pretty close time period. We like to see diversity in the structures and the canopy of our forest. We don't necessarily love to see uniform landscapes like that. Anywho, again, I'll put the picture down in the comments here. I just wanted to pull over because I'm pretty sure that is that tree that people always want to call the world's tallest. But it's just because it's a big end intermixed in an area that was cut over. That's all for today, y'all, as we pan over to the Eel River. Let's go back into the old growth and take some deep breaths. Signing off for now.